So about a month ago, I wrote an article in the Canadian Yachting Magazine on how uh, we converted our ice box on our Catalina uh, 270. Uh, we wanted to convert our ice box into a fridge unit. And uh, about a year, no, about, about, about two years ago, I had a chance to be in Vancouver and I went to visit a company called Novacool, which actually manufactures ice box to fridge conversion kits. Um, and in that year, they happened to have come up with a new model, the LT210, which is a very small compressor, very quiet and very low power consumption. So one of the first things that we wanted to make sure of is we wanted to be able to turn on the fridge in the spring when the boat goes in the water and leave it on all the way till, uh, till haul out in the fall. And we didn't want to have to come over and plug the boat or uh, start the engines to charge your battery. So... Uh, we installed two 100 watt solar panels along with a solar controller. As you can see right there, there is a solar controller. So the two wires you see on the right are actually uh, wired up to the accessory part of the controller. And the button, uh, the black button on the right is actually to turn on and off that accessory. So we can actually turn the fridge off and on from there. The two wires in the middle go straight to the battery bank to charge the batteries. And the two uh, uh, black wires on the left are actually the incoming power from the solar panels. And there you go. You see the screen. The benefit also for those of us with all the electronic gadgets is there's also two USB chargers right onto the controller. So as far as the compressor is concerned, uh, in our case, the ice box was right next to the sink. And we were able to put in the compressor actually right underneath the sink. And there it is right there. And uh, it's super, super quiet, uses very low power. Now, because it's right next to, uh, sorry, right next to the bulkhead uh, where the uh, where the ice box is, we were able to remove this little panel wall here where you see the big three inch holes, uh, add extra insulation with non, um, uh, sorry, low compression uh, foam. And then we were able to drill those holes, so allowing the compressor radiator to pull in the cool air from the bilge to expel any heat or generated during the week or whenever. We installed these vents over here right above the cupboard, uh, so it allowed the heat to, to uh, escape that cabinet. Inside the ice box, let me open this now. There you go. So inside the ice box, you'll see there's the panel, uh, the ice box panel right over here. We were able to, to bend it over here and cut it over here in order to get it in. And by the way, the, the uh, Nova Cool kits come with all the hardware you need. And then over on the other side here, you'll see there is the, uh, the thermostat. So we put it on two and a half during the week. And then if we're gonna be on board for a few days, we put it up to three to compensate for the opening and closing of the uh, ice box. And there's a the temperature gauge, so it keeps it at a nice zero degrees all week long, never uses up much battery, uh, never had an issue, and we're on, the, uh, we're on our second year now. The nice thing also uh, about the ice box is that if you look at the shelves here, there are uh, actually these holes right over here. So that's what we call a spill zone. So the cooler air goes through these holes all the way to the bottom, allowing you to keep some frozen items as well as ice cubes for actually quite a few days. And it keeps all the top surface uh, super cold like, like your fridge would. So all that to say that we're super, super pleased with the, uh, with the conversion. It certainly made our... Um, our stays coming on board. If we want to come in the evening, we don't have to worry about bringing in water.